There's been a lot of talks lately about comic pros attempting to take credit for manga sales by baking it into comic slash graphic novel sales. It's especially pathetic to me because these comic pros are often the type to talk about how much they care about social issues, but here they are taking credit from the hardworking Japanese people and trying to say that that's their sales, it's their doing. Well, here's one of the responses. This guy says, that's Cap, and you know it and post a top 20 list of graphic novel sales and, well, it's all manga. I went to the source itself for that chart, though, from ICV2.com, and they even say right here, once again, for the third month in a row, the entire top 20 is manga, and once again, you can see the list right here. To be fair, I was also tagged by Spirit Comics. The link he sent me takes me to comicsbeat.com, and the charts that they have at least do disclaim that these are not including kids' comics or manga sales. So not all comic pros or associated sites are going completely scummy trying to take credit for manga, but a very large portion of the vocal ones certainly are. And again, that's just pathetic, especially when for the last year or so there's been news like this from Bleeding Cool, five comic book stores announce permanent closure. And when you have some comic pros acting like this, and others taking credit for manga sales, and plenty of stuff I haven't mentioned as well that you might find undesirable, well, it's no surprise that so many people are actually happy watching the downfall of the comics industry. And going back to the manga comparison, Especially when you compare how these comic pros act to mangakas and how wholesome mangakas are and how appreciative they are of their communities. So while comics are failing and manga is succeeding, what do they do? Well, they create garbage like I'm not Starfire. I can't even say the name right. I just can't believe this is real. But you know what ran through my mind right then? I guess I'm glad that they're doing this stuff instead of trying to make an anime or a manga or something. I mean, that would probably be even worse, wouldn't it? So... I guess hopefully DC and Marvel and all of them keep doing cringy stuff like this, and they leave our anime and manga alone. You know, I'd be totally satisfied with that. Heck, I'd be satisfied if they made good products too, as long as they leave anime and manga alone. But let me be clear, if they keep doing cringy stuff, I certainly don't mind laughing at it either. Let me end with a question slash discussion here. This tweet says, In my opinion, Starfire having a grumpy, dumpy goth daughter has a lot of promise from a storytelling perspective. And I just disagree with that because... Well, of course, Blackfire's not Starfire's daughter, but we already had Blackfire kind of being the darker goth kind of character, balancing out Starfire. So, yeah, you know, Blackfire wasn't totally goth, but you get the point. They kind of had that vibe. So all they did was, like, rehash it and take it a bit further with the daughter, except they didn't make her a likable goth. They just made her annoying and, like, way too try-hard angsty and all that annoying stuff, yeah. So they kind of just rehashed the Starfire-Blackfire dynamic, and then to top it off, it's also a self-insert character. Like, as usual... These people are completely devoid of any originality. Thank you for tuning in. Let me know what you think about all that in the comments. And I'll see you soon for the second segment of the day.